Well, good morning. Paul here down on the Maroochydore River. And I'm sitting on the tramway or the railway for the sugarcane train. It was built in 1921 to take the sugarcane from around this side of the river across to Nambour where they had the sugar mill and where they could process and refine the sugar. Now it's no longer in use but some people come out here for fishing. It's a lift up bridge so it can lift up and let the yachts and boats with taller masts get through to the other side. But this morning I'm going to talk about Josiah who was the youngest king of Israel. He was appointed to the throne when he was only eight years old. But, uh, and he ruled for 30 odd years, 31 years I think. Um, but it was prophesied 200 years beforehand. In fact, it was prophesied by a man of God, man of the Lord who came from Judah to Bethel in 1 Kings 13. And it was prophesied by him uh, two to three hundred years before he was born. He said there's going to be a king uh, named Josiah, born of the house of David, who is going to uh, sacrifice the priests of the high places who make offerings and their bones will be burned on the altar. So this prophecy was <coughs> made long before Josiah was even born. Well, we begin the story in 2 Kings 22, where the book of the law was found. Josiah was eight years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem 31 years. He did what was right in the eyes of the Lord and followed completely the ways of his father David, although David wasn't his father, he was in the line of David, not turning aside to the right or to the left. Hilkiah the high priest said to Shaphan the secretary, I found the book of the law in the temple of the Lord. And he gave it to Shaphan who read it. Then Shaphan the secretary informed the king, Hilkiah the priest has given me a book. And Shaphan read it in the presence of the king. When the king heard the words of the book of the law, he tore his robes. He gave these orders to Hilkiah the priest. He said, go and inquire of the Lord for me, for the people and for all of Judah about what is written in this book and has been found. Great is the Lord's anger that burns against us because those who have gone before us have not obeyed the words of this book. They have not acted in accordance with all that is written there concerning us. And reading on 2 Kings 23, then the king called together all the elders of Judah and Jerusalem. He went up to the temple of the Lord with the people of Judah the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the priests and the prophets and all the people from the least to the greatest, he read in their hearing all the words of the book of the covenant which had been found in the temple of the Lord. The king stood by the pillar and renewed the covenant in the presence of the Lord to follow the Lord and to keep his commands, statutes and decrees with all his heart and all his soul and thus confirming the words of the covenant written in this book. Then all pledged themselves to that covenant. The king ordered Hilkiah the high priest, the priest next in rank, and the doorkeepers to remove from the temple of the Lord all the articles made for Baal and Asherah and all the starry hosts. He burned them outside Jerusalem in the fields of the Kidron Valley and took the ashes to Bethel. He did away with the idolatrous priests appointed by the kings of Judah to burn incense on the high places of the towns of Judah and on those around Jerusalem. Those who burned incense to Baal, to the sun and the moon, to the constellations and to all the starry hosts. He took the Asherah pole from the temple of the Lord to the Kidron Valley outside of Jerusalem and burned it there. He ground it to powder and scattered the dust over the graves of the common people. He also tore down the quarters of the male shrine prostitutes that were in the temple of the Lord, the quarters where women did weaving for Asherah. Neither before, this is verse 25, neither before nor after Josiah was there a king like him who turned to the Lord as he did. 
with all his heart and with all his soul, with all his strength, in accordance with all the law of Moses. Here was a king who heard the word of the Lord and who turned completely to worship him, gave his total attention to the Lord and he attacked the high places where they were doing evil things, worshipping other gods and he pulled down the Asherah poles and he destroyed all people who were worshipping other gods. This is an amazing story of a very mighty king who loved God and loved his word. And it was foretold two or three hundred years before he was born that he would do this. You know, God's written a book about you. And in that book about you, he has dreams and visions that you'll be following him with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength and living in his spirit and in his will. Is that what you're doing? Is that where you're going? Do you listen to the Lord? Do you seek him with all of your strength? That's what he wants. He wants his children to follow him. Jesus says, follow me. Come and follow me. Pick up your cross. Deny yourself and follow me. That ugly self keeps wanting to raise its ugly head but Jesus says come on follow me and I will make you he will make you something very special in his kingdom he wants us all we've all got a place but he wants us to be in his will living by and with and through his spirit so that he lives in us Christ in you is the hope of glory yeah, a little word from the book of Kings about Josiah. You get into the word and let the word of God get into you. See you later. Bye for now.